Gentlemen, we'll get to the Brent 031 YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode of Infantry Gear Review, we're going to be looking at Bees Combat Systems Spectral Flage Blanket. Now, we have to contend with the fact that on the modern day battlefield, the enemy now has some of the capabilities that we used to exclusively have. What do I mean by that? We don't have to just contend with the fact that the enemy has the old Mark 1 eyeball. They also have night vision and thermal capabilities. They also have things like drones that project those thermal images back to the, uh, the user. So we need to help reduce our signature so that we're less detectable and thus harder to kill. Beast Combat Systems, in my opinion, is kind of leading the way in developing technology to help mitigate that, all right? To contend with the different spectrums, the eye, night vision, thermal, okay? So in this episode, we're gonna be looking at the Spectral Flage Blanket. Now, this is a, uh, an excellent piece of gear. It is uh, something that's gonna help defeat or at least mitigate the uh, capability that the enemy has of detecting us through those different spectrums. There are other products out there. There are other things that you can do. Uh, cheaper alternatives. This is not a cheap solution, guys. This is a, a higher end product. Costs a lot of money, okay? If you can afford it, fantastic. If you can't, make sure you check out my infantryman's guide video over the uh, thermal mitigation so you kind of know what you can do to try to mitigate that threat. But this is uh, absolutely gonna help you reduce those spectrums. Okay, U.S. military has been using things like this, old cans, cam camouflage netting that have helped reduce thermal signature. You guys can see it's kind of got like a mesh background and then it also helps with the, uh, the visual spectrum with the, uh, the 3D effects of the leaves and utilizing camouflage colors. Okay, so desert, woodland, again, those have been around for a while. Um, Bees has kind of stepped up and taken the uh, development of stuff like the old cans netting to the next level. There's no doubt in my mind that this stuff is going to be more effective than the older old can systems, okay? Um, this combines 3D aspect, so it's the product starts off with just the base netting. You guys can see it's just a, like a mesh style netting. I don't know what this is made of. It's uh, you know, probably secret. You know, Bees Combat Systems, if you want to order this and reverse engineer it to figure out what exactly they're using, but nonetheless, this, uh, this netting is, uh, is pretty cool. Um, it has ATAX camouflage patterns printed on it. You can get it. I have the uh, IX pattern. I know they come in different IX or uh, different ATAX camouflage patterns. It is definitely a, just like a typical mesh. You can't see through this. So once you have it strung up, um, if you want to look through the, me the uh, mesh material itself, you can. Okay. But what you're also going to do is this uh, blanket in itself is um, built in a manner that you will add on to it. So you add on 3D aspects to this individual blanket to help break up its outline and also increase its, uh, its ability to camouflage you through the different spectrums. Um, so it, it, essentially when you first get the blanket, it's, it's bare bones. It's just that, that flat mesh blanket. It's uh, 56 inches wide by 92 inches long. And um, it's, you're gonna add 3D cut material to it to help break up its outline. Now, this is not a straight out of the box, ready to roll kind of deal. This is kind of like building a ghillie suit. You're gonna to have to invest some time. It's gonna at least take you about an hour to assemble the blanket completely. It's definitely a project, you're gonna invest some love in it, but at the end of the day, guys, it's gonna give you a good return on your investment. So, the system itself is relatively lightweight, all right? This is, you can see, mine's all done with the 3D material all added to it. I've rolled it up and this is pretty much what it comes down to. I wouldn't strap this onto my butt pack, it's a little big for that, but this could absolutely be strapped to the bottom of something like an assault pack or day pack uh, to go on a patrol, right? Or if you're gonna be on a mission, you're gonna end up building a hide, absolutely uh, portable, lightweight, and uh, able to transport easily to do that. Bees also offers the same material that the Spectral Flage blanket is made out of. They offer it individually that you can buy it and add it to your respective gear to help reduce your thermal signature. They call it thermal load reduction pack. And uh, essentially you have two options. Here's one, this is a uh, cut, it just comes in a long strip like that. It's actually already pre-cut. You just kinda gotta separate it yourself. And then there's also like a 3D leaf cut option as well. And what you do is you just tie that into things like your, your Kevlar camouflage netting cover, okay? And that's gonna help decrease your thermal signature, all right? Is it 100% uh, 
full-on option, no, but it, this, uh, this material is absolutely gonna help reduce that thermal signature. Again, it's made out of the same stuff that the, uh, the spectral flage blanket is made out of. Also, bees sells systems like this, and I've already done a review video over this that you guys can check out. But this is their, uh, their Predator Ghillie, and then once you have this all set up, you can go ahead and you can tie in that thermal reduction material into the suit itself to help reduce that thermal detection, okay? So, you guys can kind of see what I've done here and I'm working on, I'm still gonna add some more, but I'm adding that material to this Predator Ghillie to help reduce my thermal detection while I have this on my, my body. Bees also has a pack cover that I've also done a video on over already and uh, you can absolutely just add that material to the pack itself. All right guys, so in a matter of a couple minutes, I've already got the uh, spectral flage blanket up and uh, it's providing good concealment. Uh, so obviously the more time I have, the better it'll be, okay? Uh, but when we're putting this up, we wanna make sure that it is providing us the best protection against all spectrums of detection. So we can't have this too high, because if we have it too high, it's not gonna defeat the old Mark I eyeball from the enemy, right? Uh, so we want to kind of find that happy medium low, okay? But we also need a little bit of standoff from above us because the more standoff we have, the better this is going to work in terms of mitigating our detection from thermal threats. It already does a pretty good job itself, but it's not designed to be pressed directly up against our skin. So we need, do need some standoff. We need some airflow in between us and the blanket itself. But having it above us right here is going to protect us from that drone overhead view that drone's probably not gonna be able to detect us with this um, spectral flage over us, okay? As long as we're doing our part and uh, making sure we have a little bit of standoff and then, uh, you know, concealing it good. The uh, 3D aspect of the blanket itself already does a good job of helping break up the outline of the spectral flage blanket. But, uh, you know, obviously adding some natural vegetation to anything is gonna take it to that next level in helping conceal that position. So the ends of the blanket itself have slits in it so that you can add 550 cord. What I did is I added my 550 cord and then I tied these knots in it to make jungle knots. If you don't know what jungle knots are, they're fantastic. So jungle knots literally make it so that you can string something up fast or take it down quickly, all right? It's just a series of knots in it, pull through. Pull the 550 cord through the uh, the rest of it, and the knot itself is what keeps it in place. So that's what uh, that's what I did on my respective end, so that I can get this up quick in a hurry. All right, guys. So I'm under the blanket right now. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of like how big this actually is. Um, it's definitely big enough to cover a fighting position. Whether it's a fighting position, a hide. It's definitely plenty of uh, room. You can see I'm down here. I got my pack and I've got a blanket covering plenty of space. So all this area and this area is underneath the overhead concealment of the blanket itself. And you guys can see it's see-through. So you can see through to, a, to an extent, up hit overhead. So if there's a drone overhead, you might be able to see it through the actual uh, blanket itself. That completes this episode of Infantry Gear Review over the Bees Combat System Spectral Flage Blanket. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel. I've already done several gear reviews over infantry-related equipment, and I plan to do seven more in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment.